Hello everyone, this is B2Bekin7 with an unfortunate architect compilation. And now we are going to take on the tenth part, which is supposedly an amazing hold. And there's a checkerboard Wraithwing puzzle. I have a feeling it's not puzzle though. I have a very very fearful feeling it's not a puzzle. A place for everything and everything in its place. Well aren't so, well aren't you just clever? Anyway, um yeah, so here's a little room for the end. It's a mimic puzzle, it seems. I am not too sure what is intended of me. But those are three. I also don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna go to the west. And there's a five. Okay, so all the num rooms numbered? 16? Is that a code? Oh, wait, that's the checkerboard Wraithwing puzzle. It looks just as horrible as I hoped it would. <laughs> okay, um... I'm curious, what are the other numbers? Three? This one is 110. I think that's 11. Is this supposed to be a room to the north west? To the northeast? Yes, there is. One. What? Okay, you're a big jerk for that. Okay, already this starts off not on a good note. Even though the rooms don't actually look too bad. But hey, at least they put a checkpoint there, so you know what? I'll forgive him for that. Okay, so that's a 10. This would be 25. Okay, so I guess the gimmick of this uh, hold is that numbers? What did the numbers even mean? Actually, you know what? I don't think I even care. Okay, this uh, cut down everything by a good number. Oh, I have to cut down everything. Okay. Okay, this means that... Um, what? Okay, that's not good. Um, okay, so I need to hack through this uh, combination thing somehow. Enough times. Get something good going? Or am I just going to be dancing here forever? Okay, I can just go now. Okay. Right, let's ignore the stupid warp stuff. Right, okay, so what the heck am I even doing here? Is it warp? Right, is there a red door somewhere that I'm not aware of? Okay, that's one door. No, I don't believe there's a red door anywhere. Just gotta stop this from spreading, maybe. Oh, right, I think I have to stop the babies from happening. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay, alright, I see, I see. This is a containment job. Alright, that's interesting. Okay, so... Alright, so this is a little thingamabobber to make sure that uh, everything is contained. Or something. Uh, no, the little setup here is to make sure I don't kill all the time mothers. What if I want to kill all the time mothers, huh? Never think about how I feel. It's always about you. Okay. Don't believe I need to be too careful, just as long as I don't leave any possibilities for stupid things to happen.
Alright, that should uh, stop the stupid possibilities from happening. Okay, what's this now? Why why would I want to care about how far this grows? It's like a setup, it's gonna open, that's gonna open and No, I don't think this is gonna pose a problem. Well, I may or may not be proven wrong later on, but at the moment I don't see any reason why I shouldn't just uh, ignore all the consequences. Well, I mean Locking myself in is probably a good reason why I should not ignore the consequences, but I mean, aside from that, aside from that minor little detail. Wait, what's this? Wall. Okay, can't cut that. Ha! Nice job not making it or something. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, so this opens that, and it's gonna open that. Okay. Maybe I should time this a little better. Okay. Oh, that was right on time. Okay. All right. Guess I didn't need to use that after all. Okay. So, another one of these little setups. I have a feeling this uh, this hold might not be so bad. Uh, this entry, I mean, because okay, so uh, what am I supposed to do now? This? Huh? I'm supposed to what? Okay, that is. Oh, that's why there's a shutdown thing. Hold on. What? Didn't I step on that checkpoint over there? No! Ugh, okay, I, I really need to stop being such an ignoramus or something. I mean, geez, this is just getting out of control. How pathetic this is getting. Okay. Alright. I don't think there's gonna be any problem leaving that behind. Okay. Okay, so I have to say this is actually really clever. This hold right there, it's uh This is a lot better than I hoped something around this point would be. Sadly I fear that this may be the last good one that I'll be playing. Because uh entries eleven and twelve are supposedly the the worst ones possibly. Well not the worst ones, but they're definitely gonna crank the difficulty back up, possibly the Stefan like levels. So, uh, yeah. Guess I'm not quite looking forward to that. But hey, while we still have a, the chance, let's enjoy this for all it's worth. I'm gonna take care of this right now. Might as well get it out of the way or something. Okay. So we have to attack a 16 Wraith Wing. So the point is that we want all the Wraith Wings to escape to the north west. Okay. Close that because someone's coughing outside and that's That's not conducive to good material. Anyway, um I get. We got them right where I wanted them to be. Or did I? Ah, there we go. That's good. Okay. 
All right, okay, that wasn't too bad. It was uh, clever. I disagree with Game Extreme though, uh, saying that uh, this was the best one. Uh, I, I, I thought this room was definitely way more clever, I guess. It's all right, we all have different opinions. Anyway, trapdoor puzzle. Ah. Hmm. Looks like someone didn't know what to do with uh, his brains. <laughs> okay, so orbs. Okay, I'm gonna have to hit this thing twice. Okay, let's be careful about how we drop these guys. Actually, let's try to skirt the edges. Or not. Or maybe as such. Oh, just check when you have to take that. Okay. I don't think I'll need to go back there, right? Okay. Kill this brain. Drop these guys. Okay. Back to the place, I guess. I suppose we'll go in reverse order. Do I need to strike this orb again? Yeah, to open the exit. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, that just leaves me with enough uh, possibilities for that to happen. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that thing will be open so I can just deal with that then. Okay, gotcha. So I'm just gonna... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna deal with this right now. Seems like it's gonna be a pain to rear end to deal with later on. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so do I have a path back? I should have. Okay, just gonna make sure to not leave, do anything stupid like I just did. Um, uh, speaking of th things I should not do, um... There's a series of trapdoors up there that's not droppable, right there. Yeah, that's not droppable. I'm gonna have to... Be a little more intelligent about how I deal with that. Okay. Yeah. Because I need an uneven amount of uh, these paths, that's for sure. Yeah, to cross long paths that are longer than two trapdoors, I need to have an uneven number of these pathways, or else I'm um, just going to get spat back out on the same side, and that's not what I want in life. Okay. Alright, it might as well drop these guys. Okay, I think that's good. What? How about I drop everything right now? Yeah, see? Exactly. It, if there are to be an even number of uh, trapdoors, uh, no, the number of pathways, then you need to, then one of the pathways needs to be lesser than two tiles long, or else it's not going to count. It's like trapdoor logic or something. It just kind of comes immediately to some of us, but it's useful information to have in mind. Very useful indeed. Okay, that done. I don't know if I explained myself correctly here. Probably not. Okay, time to do that room I can't go back from. Oh, that's why it's... Uh... Oh yeah, we didn't have Conquer Tokens back in the day. Yeah, back in our day we didn't have those fancy pressure plates. Okay. Oh, okay, that's... That's interesting. Okay. So... It's a race! 
Do I have to hit all of these orbs? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I'm Mundo. I think I need to do this way faster than that. I think I need to shave just one more turn. Yeah, just one more turn. Somehow, shave a turn off of all this and I'm good to go. Okay, so there's no other way to... Okay, maybe what if I just ignore that one for now? No, I need to hit it. I don't see any reason why not. Yes! Okay, that's the puzzle. That was surprisingly clever. I don't know why you couldn't have just had two roaches there, but... Hey. That's still a fun room. Fun to figure out. Anyway. Evil eyes, okay, so that's where the bulk of the eyes ended up, okay. Yeah, I guess if you have a bunch of a certain element, you'll end up using, kind of voicing them at points, so yeah. If I recall correctly, the number of eyes was 110, so yeah. Naturally, there was going to be a bit of a waste. In there. Okay, what's this say? Trapdoors and checkpoints are safe, as long as you don't break any crumbly walls, okay. Why would I not want to activate... Oh, okay, those guys, okay. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'm breaking crumbling walls now. It's nice that he gives us a visual cure so that I don't have to go into vision mode. Okay. Why can't I just go for the orb then and then go back and kill everything? Seriously, I have half a mind to do that. Just gotta get through there, I guess. Alright, that opens up the paths. Okay, this will close the uh, offending party, so... Okay, so just gonna make my way back. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Kill me over there. Creepazoid weirdo. Okay. Okay. That was interesting. Yeah, I have to say that was really an interesting idea right there. I approve, this was clever. Wow. Clever enough, I'd say. It was fun. Yeah, I'd, I would definitely say that. Okay, so now we have to open the 110. Oh. Okay, let's see. Closes all, toggles, close, toggles. Open, close, open. Okay, so I want to toggle both. Toggle that. Close, open, toggle. Close both. Toggle, close. Toggle, close. Close open. Okay, toggle. 
toggle close, toggle close, close open, toggle close. Ah, okay, there we go. And now we just kill these guys and we're all good to go. Alright. You know, I find it interesting how quickly I'm making it through these entries. I have a feeling that may not last. Actually, no, there's no way to that one. Okay, let's go there. Goblins, and let's avoid trapping them. Okay. Okay, this one could go there. I feel like that's a safe bez any. Oh, wait a minute. This guy should not go in there. Okay. Okay. I can go too high off. Okay. Alright, okay. Nothing trapped so far? Good. Okay, so this guy, bring him along. Kill him indiscriminately. Or very much so discriminately. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, can't go down that way. Also, cannot go down that way. Okay, oh, there we go. This one I can just uh, maneuver it out of here. Okay. Okay. All right, two goblins. And we are done. Okay, that was uh, pretty interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I have to get these goblins in a position where I will be able to kill them. Oh, wait a minute. That's good. Aha! Okay, that was a little fiddly at the end, but that was really a clever. Clever idea for a room. I enjoyed it. Okay. This, however, doesn't look quite as fun. Because I have to redirect the snakes. What good would that do for me? Is this snake too short? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Can't say I'm too certain. Nothing closed that door? Oh, that door. Okay. Alright, so I gotta make it through there. Get that door. And, uh. Magic happens, and then the snakes kill themselves. I guess. Wait, are those to kill snakes? I think I can. Okay. Oh, he's never gonna make it to me that way, is he? Hmm. Is that a matter of uh, synchronizing the snakes or something? Okay. I'm not seeing the problem here.
Oh dear, okay. Um, I should probably try to face a better direction than that. How about this one? Ah, that's a good one. That's a good direction right there. Direction with direction. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I can't say I'm too certain about what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, this guy dies. This guy doesn't die. Okay, let's do this again, I guess. Why not? Okay, right. I remember that the snakes have a preference to go north or something. So... Wait, what? What's with that tar? Wait a minute, are you kidding me? This is gonna be a... That kind of puzzle? Oh, well this just seems really annoying now. No, I still don't see the point of doing that. Does it make the weight shorter? I have no clue. And oh, I'm supposed to zip right down the ha the alleyway. Oh, okay. That might be why. Okay. Okay, I should probably do it in order or something. Snake to be also be they're the same length at least 108, 108, and 108. Okay, good. So the pathway should be more or less the same size. Gotcha. Okay, so delay needs to happen for all the snakes. How do I get to the both of them at this? Oh, this is gonna upset them, right? Yeah, this will, won't it? Okay, so if I do that long enough, I should be able to get the snakes to just kind of lose sync with one another. Now I have to desync this guy. Okay. One more turn, okay. Okay. 
think this is gonna be it. Sort of gosh, if that messed up something somehow. What? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this. Just off sync this one. Okay, so first this one reaches it, then this one, and then this one. Okay, so that shouldn't be too tough, right? Okay. Right, okay, yeah, that's okay. So does that offset? You just want to be a little further behind. Checkpoint. Okay, right. Not bother messing with that for now and just elongate this uh, snake's suffering. Okay. Okay, now we get to go. Checkpoint. Okay. Still gonna have to delay him a, lo a little while longer. should be good, right? These two are still good. There we go, okay. So it will not match. Ah. Hold on. Okay, so we're not synchronized yet. Gosh. Jeez. This is the least fun puzzle out of all of them. It's just tedious and you have to try and error and... Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, the idea is clever, but... It's like a mathematical question, and I guess the best way to see how everything functions is to look at when each snake arrives and then do some mathematical operations or whatever. Okay. So, the arrival of first snake. Okay, they're all at the same space right now. Now, what about the arrival at this place? Okay, so. Okay, so I have to sync up the snakes. Okay, that part we already figured it out, but I have to sync them all up right now. That's the problem. I cannot do this right now because this snake, these two snakes right there are just too close to one another. Okay, wait a minute. Do I even need, though, to uh, offset this guy? Okay, that... okay. Okay. This one's gonna need to be two tiles further back. Okay, they, they must not be equal. Okay, alright.
Okay, so don't shrink this one's size. We delay this one for sure. Okay. So how about we keep this up for another round? Set up far enough. Okay, good. Enough smacking any worms, okay. So that's good. And now this guy must be one, two, three, four. There. Four away. Wait, four? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four away. So two smacks of this uh, little thing and we'll be good to it. One. Two. There we go, okay. And here we go. Now this snake's gonna die, and it's also beautiful. Should probably try to face a better direction than that. Okay. okay, it'll be a while yet before the these guys arrive, so which I think I want to face a diagonal direction. Direction. It's always a good idea. These kinds of guys anyway, especially. Okay. Okay, alright, so that wasn't too bad after all. Just once you figured out the mathematical implications of this whole thing, I guess that's all you needed. And after that, well, this guy should go down easy. Yes. Okay, I take back what I said. This was a really good room, too. Okay, what's last? Okay, Roach Queens. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta kill them, right? Okay, there's a dead end right there. Oh, but not really! Ha! Nice try. But I've seen that trick like a hundred times. You think that'll work on me? Nice try, though. Nice try. Okay, what's this now? What's with the trapdoors anyway? Oh, it's going to force all of the roach queens in a bad position. Not if I can help it though. I have to ponder if this is actually going faster or not. No, I don't think it is. Okay, so. No checkpoints in the, in the entire room before that? I mean, yeah, I get that the trick is super simple, but... Yeah, okay, fine. There is a checkpoint, but man, it's just so out of the way, you know? Fine, I'll go check the point. Okay, fine. Okay. Alright. There should be one by the orb, though. Seriously, that seems like a better place for it. Oh, I know what I need to do. Ha! <laughs> Whatever. Wait, that's the same result, though. Yeah, it's getting worse, okay, um... Oh, oh! Okay, just 
break these guys. Then. So. Okay, there's going to be a bunch of queens at the bottom, so... Creating an alcove right there for all of them, that'd be a good place to start. Yeah, actually just creating alcoves would be a good place to start for all of this. So, uh... Okay, one... So they're all gonna be lined up here. Another one there. Ah, there we go. That makes things way easier. Oh, wait. It doesn't. Hold on. I know exactly what needs to be done. Let's poke holes into these areas. That way the queens that go into these uh, little cubicles will only spawn one roach at a time. Thus making me victorious. That's seriously a really good puzzle right there. I don't think I've seen that kind of puzzle ever made. Kudos, uh, Rab Scuttle, kudos. Oh, wait a minute. That's not good. I should probably not let that happen. Probably. Okay. What's this now? I think I know what this is. It's gonna be one of those. Oh, but I'm spawning 15 roaches at a time, so that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 16. Ah, yeah, there we go. That, there's the thing. There's the little catch. That's not a toggle, so I can't get out now. But... Hmm. These are not going away. Jeez. Hmm. Really? Okay. Um, I'd say let's have a queen in there, except I don't see what that would change for me. Also, I can't. I could maneuver her out of that little thing. No, what I need is a strategy. Isn't there, there's no broken walls. Southwest. Oh, that's. That's not good, I can't do anything about that. Okay, um, there is something else in this room that I'm not seeing. Oh, okay, I have to avoid her going there. Okay, so... Let's uh, start with that. Okay, there we go, that's, that's works for me. Okay, right. With that queen incapable of going to her little cubicle hideout, I have basically one already. I have to say this is a really clever batch of rooms right there. A clever batch of uh, puzzles. Right. Okay. I believe that's everything we need to know for this. Let's charge. spawn that many roaches from there. It's like they're already dead. Okay. 
that level has been solved over there, I think this is the end of the room and also the end of the level. Attack now. Okay. And that's it. Just one more puzzle to go. And that's it. Again. Just make it unclear. Hint. Mimic move in the order that they are placed. Okay, so it's gonna be like... Okay, so... Dude goes here. Dude goes there. So... Alright. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Okay. What? No, I need the mimics to go in the huh? Oh, okay. to push the mimic just one space further. Okay, I think that's gonna involve um, keeping these guys around for a while longer. No, I don't understand what the point of this is. Okay, that's that's gonna be a problem because they're covering the one space I need. need to be on this side. Okay, so this point Alright. Okay. That may or may not do the trick. I think it is. I still need to push them a lot further back than that. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, let's do it in here. bottom row somehow okay that will probably be done with a trick like this okay to get these dudes in there though, seriously. Seems like a pretty important piece of business. Yeah, this does not think this does nothing to help me. It only aggravates the matter at hand. Okay, so I got one mimic that's really far and a mimic that's really close. What am I even supposed to do with that information? Oh, okay, I can just. Oh, okay, it was that simple this whole time. Okay, alright. How many devils does it take to complete a, del a dungeon? Just one. You. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so this is 53 minutes, so I'm going to wrap this up now before this gets too much longer. Feel free to make your way around the gallery. So, level 10 was good. I enjoyed it uh, very much. It, uh, it had a very clever bunch of rooms. I don't think there was a single one that was that bad. Oh, I don't... Yeah, no, they all seem pretty good. Okay. <coughs> Slugs hold at one of the best honors possible. Stefan thought that this was a Garicus Fives hold. If someone had said that about my hold, I would be extremely extremely complimented. Then the hold deserved that praise as well. This hold was well thought out. The layout was amazing, the puzzles were clever and required a lot of thinking and working out. Um I'm not sure if uh, thinking that someone's hold is a Garicus's hold is exactly the greatest compliment, considering that Bovato's dungeon when you look at it rather closely, is full of rather tedious stuff, so that's not good news. Sorry to break it to you, past gamer, but um, yeah, this is not a good sign for me. <laughs> not even close. So, this has been b 2 7 with an Unfortunate Architect compilation, and in the next part, things are probably going to be pretty horrible, and I also have part 12 to look forward to, with, not part 12, uh, entry number 12, which has that one room, which is going to make me just uh, puke out uh, spikes and blood and all sorts of horrible things like that. So anyway, now that I've made Beast will fall asleep, I'll see you in the next part. Have a nice one.